I imagine all of you have read your fair share of scripts. Is there something immediately apparent when you get a work where somebody has, has so obviously poured themselves into it and it's be, been a labor of love? Yeah, 100 yeah. percent. I mean, I, I, you know, every pilot season read, and I'm an avid reader and I'll read 20 pilots a pilot season. And um, this was the one that stuck out to me that pilot season where I was like, that's an amazing show. Like, you could just read it from her words. And normally, um, uh, that doesn't really happen because there are so many elements that have to go into making it a, a success. Yeah. But we were already starting at an advantage because of Lauren's script. I, uh, this is not a joke. I read the script. I was so blown away by it. And I sort of set about trying to get it. And then, as part of the audition process, I finally went to LA and Lauren was in the room, and I was like Debbie was with The Bachelorette. I was. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe it's her. I better get my stuff together, you know, like, for real. That's pretty amazing. Did you want to? Yeah, I think um, there's, uh, there's checking all the boxes, and there's, I'd like to work with people who inspire me. Oh, I'm a really big fan of the past things that they've done. I you know, want a girl who's very dimensional and who is her own hero and who is her battling her things. I love a sense of humor. It checked all the boxes, but there was also such a visible magic, which yeah. I, we use the word magic within describing the show because it is in the DNA of how every part of the process has come about. And I think that you will see that it's, it's such a lightning in a bottle. And, and I was, you know, I was like, I'm not gonna do TV for a while. I don't wanna be on a series for a while. I'm gonna go project by project. And everyone who had read it was like, you have to read this, like read this. It's TV, but this is what you've been saying you've wanted to do, but all of it in one place, read it. And I read it and I was like, I need Patty. Yeah, I was like, I need her. She is me, we are therapy. We're going to laugh about it together and I wanna go on this journey with her. And then in the casting process, uh, towards the end, Lauren and I met and spoke in the room. And I went in and I was like, I think that there's comedy here. And she was like, right, I wrote a comedy. <laughs> and I was like, good. oh, <laughs> yeah. That's really good. It was you. <laughs> she was like, that's what it was. And I was like, of course. Sorry, I guess it, it just was resonating with me as, you know, yeah. topically it kind of was like, oh, wow, pretty crazy, pretty intense. And I was very much insatiable within that process. And then within the discussion of comedy, I was automatically got a little protective of Patty and was like, I've never seen some of these things and some of the things that you're describing, places you want to go, I haven't seen. And it's hard conversation for me and my friends to have and to find ourselves in. And once we do, there's so much breakthrough and so much healing. So I just want to be careful that we're doing this in a way that is respectful yeah. and that everyone retains their dignity in feeling seen and exposed. And um, and she began to open up about why and how she was doing it with respect and but with said, dignity. And she was like, the call is coming from inside the house. Yeah, I said, like, I said, no, no, trust me, I'm protective of her too, she's me. Yeah. yeah. And then we had this moment where it's like, how is she you? And I said some things, and then Debbie said some things, and then we both cried, and then I was like, oh. And I, I was like, her. well, now I have to go audition even though I have mascara on my face, you know, and then I did. Uh -huh.